Hi, this is Paulo from the MB Academy and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make leads and also paths like the ones in the track There For You by Culture Shock. So this is the original track. <laughs> We're gonna go over that pad right there. And we're also gonna learn how to transform that into the lead of the drop. But before we get started, I gotta tell you that this sound was a request by a preset pass member. So if you wanna get priorities in your sound request, which we get a lot, thank you so much for that guys, by the way. You can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. Also, make sure you get subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos, and to support us, which by the way, thank you so much, guys. The support has been amazing. But anyway, let's get into the video. All right, so here I have an initialized patch. But first, let's just take a quick look at the core progression. So this is our progression right here. Here are our root notes. A, G, E, F sharp, B. So the progression will be, and these are all the notes of the progression. Very beautiful progression. If you guys are interested in learning music theory, check out our program DMB Foundations. The link is in the description below. So copy these notes if you want to follow along with the tutorial. And now let's go back into Serum. All right, so here in Serum, we're going to select the regular saw wave from the basic shapes wavetable. And we're going to try to add a different saw wave on oscillator B. Let's try the MB saw right here. So now if we play this, pretty much still a bunch of saw waves. So let's increase the unison of both oscillators. Now it's to the tune. So let's bring the detune down, both of oscillator A and B. Cool, we're getting there. Now, to add a bit of movement into the harmonics, we're gonna add sync on both of the oscillators. And we wanna automate this. So let's map an LFO into the sync value right here of both. But let's make this much more slower, like two bars and less intense, like this. Now on oscillator B, we're gonna boost the octave plus one. And we can play with the mix of these oscillators. Now let's bring the sustain of envelope number one down. Awesome. And that is basically everything for the main tab. So now let's go into the effects and let's add hyper. Boost the mix on the dimension, bring the mix of the hyper down. We can add a bit of distortion, but in this case, we're going to add down sample, which will add some harmonics on the highs. So let's make it really low in the drive and let's bring the mix down. This is adding a bit of dirt into the sound. And now let's add some reverb. And now to make this really big, we're going to increase the size. We're going to increase the decay. Also, let's make sure we low cut the reverb. Let's bring the high cut all the way down. And now let's map an LFO into the mix of this. So at the beginning, we're not going to have as much reverb as at the end of the sound. So let's set this on envelope. Let's leave it as it is, but now let's make a rising shape like this. So whenever any hit starts, the reverb is in this position, but at the end of the fourth note, the reverb is going to be at this position. So now... It's kind of adding a pseudo sidechain into the reverb. And that is basically it for the pads. So now let's see how we can transform this into a lead. All right, so to transform this pad into the lead, we're gonna duplicate the patch. Let's bring it here. 
and we're gonna add an arpeggiator into this channel. So now, but now we gotta change this chord progression so every chord only has three notes, just like the first part. Here, we have four notes, so we gotta get rid of one. For example, this one. And now let me just go over this real quick and then we'll get back into the tutorial. So this is how I ended up leaving the progression. Nice. Now let's go back into our patch. And now here in our patch, we're going to use a separate LFO to modulate the level of both oscillators. And we're gonna create a plucky shape like this. Now we can also add a filter, map both of the oscillators through that filter. And now let's hold Shift and Alt, click on the cutoff, and now create the plucky shape. You can also add a bit of attack into the sound to make it a bit more interesting. This is really cool. You can even layer the fifth. to add an extra bit of flavor. In this case, let's keep it simple. Let's remove all of the attack. We can always experiment with this LFO. Add a bit of release. And now if we put this against the reference, that is our final result. So that's gonna be it for the sound and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. And if you wanna get access to this preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.